is war, Prime. Just give it up. We've been at this for centuries. I will never give up. You have taken the lives of many of my Autobots. I will fight for freedom till all are one. Fine then. You leave me no choice. Let me introduce you to my pet. Well, you think you think just because you have a dinosaur that you can beat me in war, Megatron? Do you know me so little? We've only been at this for decades. I didn't want to have to do it, Prime. But you leave me no choice. Oh, Megatron. Since you brought out your Dinobot, let me show you mine. Megatron, meet Grimlock. Boy Grimlock, I'm coming up. Give me a ride. So Megatron, now that you've met Grimlock, do you still want to continue this war? You know, maybe this war isn't really worth it. I'm just uh -uh. I'm in trouble. Yes. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am SCT American and this is my review on Studio Series 8606 Grimlock. So here we are and here is Grimlock. Now before we take a look at Grimlock, let's take a quick look at the box. Hey, I actually have this guy's box. <laughs> uh, his name is Grimlock. He comes with Autobot Wheelie, 80, Studio Series 8606 Transformers the movie. Transformers on the side of the box you got Grimlock looking all BC. You got 86 over here on the top. You got your obligatory product shocks. He can look like this. He can look like that. And backdrop included. That's really exciting. <laughs> I think on the bottom of the box, you got things, words, and a barcode. The other side of the box, you got Grimlock and Wheelie Studio Series. And at the top of the box, you have Transformers the movie. This came out a long time ago. <laughs> uh, that is it for the box. Now let's take a quick look here at Grimlock. And if you ask me, this is a spot-on <laughs> representation of Grimlock, in my opinion, of course. But it's Grimlock, okay? This is this is G1 Grimlock. You no no doubts about it, okay? That's it. <laughs> it's Grimlock. Let's take a quick look here at the details. And uh, as you can see here, he does have his bright blue eyes. Actually, they're dark blue, but the lighting makes it look kind of bright. He's got his many teeth. Some gold here. The neck. Coming down, you got the white arms. Just lots of molded in detail, especially here on the legs. You can really see all the molded in detail here. All the color, the green, the red, the blue. The white tip for the tail. He's got his golden toes. Yeah, Autobot symbol, which is, it looks like a sticker in my opinion. I mean, I, I always, I look at it and I see a sticker, but it's, it's on, it's on there. Yeah, he does have three screw holes on this side of his face, on the right side of his face, which he does not have on the right, on the left side. So I suggest you just display him looking left, <laughs> just so that way you don't have the, the holes on the other side. Yeah, that is it for the details. Now for articulation on the head here, he can look up all the way so he can straighten out his neck. Uh, he can look down uh, about that much, basically just putting it at a 90 degree angle. But he also does get this like gap in the back of his head. <laughs> so if he's looking all the way up, you can't see it. And if he's looking all the way down, you can see it like a bunch. So yeah, uh, he does have an open jaw, which he can open middle under 90 degrees he does get let me adjust the camera here so you can see he does get a 90 degree i mean a, a 180 is it one it's 360 what the hell am i saying a 360 degree 360 rotation for his neck okay there you go i said it right moving on 360 for his arms and they are on a hinge so they can bend down 
about 90, well, more than 90 degrees. They can bend up, up more than 90 degrees. Uh, no, like, wrist rotation, but you can move them since they are in a ball joint. Uh, coming down uh, to his legs, they can move out about that far. Uh, this is on a separate hinge, so you can get them like a double hinge. You can have that leg movement. Uh, no uh, ankle tiltage or anything like that, but he does have posable toes for reasons, <laughs> which actually does help with him standing a lot. So I'm glad that they did add that because it does take a bit for him to stand. You need that he that back toe for him to stand 100%. Uh, for the tail, you get no movement of the tail, which I'm actually kind of upset about, but not really, because this is basically his legs back here. This is his legs with a tail tip. <laughs> so I'm kind of upset that they didn't move, add like a, a hinge or something to move side to side or something, but you know, it's whatever. Uh, they, they, there is just a big gap right here that I kind of, yeah, it's okay. It's not like a deal breaker or anything. It's just like, it's a big gap, you know, it's just like, yeah. Also, his tail is humongous. Like, I don't remember his tail being this big. Like, I, I can't, <laughs> uh, I don't remember his tail being this big compared to the rest of his body. I guess, you know, it's whatever. Oh, there you go. Now for accessories, he does come with his gun. He comes with his gun, which uh, for all I'm concerned, let me get a little bit more lighting in here, hold on. There we go, okay. So as far as I'm concerned, this is very accurate to the show. It was just a pitch black gun. Is a double barrel rifle. And uh, if you want to, he does have two tabs right here on the side of the gun. And they plug into these two slots right here. So you just line them up. And you can plug them in. It's very, it's difficult to line up though because his legs can actually move and they move out the way sometimes. There you go, just gotta look in there. And you can see, there you go. So there you go. He can have his rifle just kind of like hanging off his, whoop. Told you, you need, you need those heel toes those back toes to really stand them up <laughs> if you really want them to stand you need those anyways but yeah no he can have he can have his blaster just chilling on his back he also comes with little autobot wheelie there you go autobot wheelie now wheelie here actually does have some very good paint he has a good paint job for a little little figure <laughs> he's a good pinch off for a little figure and uh, he's about the size of a core class so he's about the size of your core class optimus and rat trap it's about that size he's just kind of like you know his knees are bent so he looks a little bit smaller if anything yeah no his his knees are actually molded in like this so you can't stand him up or anything he's always just kind of like like here the oh. this is actually the first time i've ever gotten him to stand but you know, <laughs> I just got onto. You see, he, he never stands, but for some reason, I just got onto stand right now. Anyway, so yeah, no, you can't really get him to stand just because of the way his knees are. Yeah, and, and uh, his arms can't move for his articulation. His, his arms can't move. Uh, they can move side to side, but they're kind of molded in the position that they're in. Uh, this arm likes to fall off, as I just demonstrated. Okay, this arm likes to fall off, but you know, I just pop it back in and. It was and never move it again there you go uh, his head uh, is a 360 rotation you can't turn that uh, full 360 degrees his legs are actually on a ball joint so you could ha totally have his legs just kind of like that you could have him in a ball put him in the box and never see him again <laughs> oh that's what I'm gonna do with this guy put him in the box never see him again <laughs> but other than that yeah, he is included because again, this is Grimlock from the movie, and he had Wheelie riding his back. So let's take a look at Grimlock here. If you look at Grimlock, you can actually see he has two posts on this uh, on each side of his neck. Oh, and yeah, he he's missing his two front teeth. I don't know why they did that. I guess it's just that way you can. 
get in there and open its mouth which it doesn't look bad after you open his mouth it doesn't look bad but you know when his when his mouth's closed he's missing his tooth his like all of his front, all of his front teeth anyways yeah no you have two tabs for uh two posts right here on each side of grimlock and you have little slots right here on each side of willie's leg and what you do is you spread his legs as much as you can just kind of slide them in there. And then on the other side, just slide them in there. Fix Willie up here. And there you go. Crap. And there you have Grimlock with Willie riding him. And uh, yeah, he sits up there. He's not going to fall out or anything. At least I don't think so. I've never tried this. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's not gonna fall out. It's good. Yeah. But I'm never gonna have him riding Grimlock, so we can just take him off. <laughs> he's going to the back in the box. <laughs> so I think that's all that's left to say. Oh, right. For some comparisons, here is Grimlock with R.E.D. Optimus Prime. And just in his in his uh dino mode just so you can see how tall he is here he is with optimus primal and just because i feel like it here he is with kingdom megatron and uh grimlock is a little bit bigger just like just depends on how you put the feet on both of the figures, but yeah, no. Grimlock's a little bit bigger. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So let's get down to transformation. First, we're gonna wanna do is take off the, take off, there you go. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you want to rip his head off. <laughs> you wanna rip his head off and then you want to split open his chest. And they are like on a hinge right here, so you can actually move them up and move them around the legs. Move them around the legs. And you can already flip, you can flip the head up already. Flip the head up. Get these out of the way. You want to come down here to the chest. Just going to pop it off. And you can just slide it up. And there is a little tab that goes into that slot right there. And that's how you know you lined it up right. Come on, head situated. There you go. Then you want to come down to the sides and you can just flip out the fists. There you go, you can fix up the toes if you need to. Fix his like wings, <laughs> his chest, his dino chest. And then like I said, this is like a separate hinge right here. So if you don't want him doing that, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to just tab that in, there you go. And uh, it's again, it's a separate hinge from the elbow. So yeah, you want to tab that in. It's, it's just a, it just slides into that little slot. There you go. Tab that in, and then you want to come down here to the legs. You want to just split it. There you go. You can open this up, and these are like on a double hinge, so it's gonna go up there, and then gonna slide up right there, and it's just gonna sit in that little cre crevice. Crev crevice? Is that how you say it? It's gonna sit in that little area. Okay. <laughs> And you want to take off the legs and they are just tabbed in via these two slots and those two posts like tabs right there you want to tag untab them and there you go spread his legs <laughs> and uh, these are they do move on us on like a little slider and when you move them up they will automatically slide over so you don't have to like shift his legs or anything Let's see if I can demonstrate on this one. So you see, so this one's all the way to the left or to the right, sorry. And you just move them and move them up, and they shift to the left. There you go. And then you just close his calves. Come down here to the feet, and the feet are on a double hinge, so you just kind of slide it up. Come on, there you go. Same thing with this one. This one likes to fall off though. This one hopefully doesn't fall off. 
me. There you go. They are uh, uh, all of his parts are on friction hinges, so it, you can just pop them back on. And then I'm gonna come back up here to the rest of his body. We're at the home stretch. We're almost done. There you go. You can come down here, put his head, his dino head down. Let me get the camera situated because he is getting tall. One moment. And there you go. I got the camera all fixed up. So now, now we got him into his robot mode. And uh, if you ask me, this is a pretty good looking Grimlock. Like, come on. <laughs> this is very accurate to G1 if you ask me. I don't remember if he had his dino head just kind of sticking out like that. I'm pretty sure it was like tucked away somewhere and it was just his like his back wings here. But it looks good nonetheless. So... Anyways, let's take a quick look here at the details of his noggin. And, uh, oh, my camera is not... I don't. I still don't have a set for uh, leader class figures, so we're just going to have to make do with what we get. Okay? So, as you can see, they did very good with this head sculpt. Especially here. There you go. That's a little bit better. They did good with this head sculpt here, but uh, honestly, they didn't have to do much with the head sculpt. You know, it's just a black face, blue visor. Yeah, nonetheless, I think they did very good. It's like a dark blue. See a lot of molded in detail here on the arms. You got the Autobot symbol there on the sides right here. Coming down, you got the dino toes, robot fists. Blue, the green, the red, the black. He's got some beefy ass shins. Or not, not shins, what the hell am I saying? These are the shins. Calves, there you go. I could be wrong about this too. This I don't even remember. But I know for a fact these are calves, okay? He's got some beefy calves, like. <laughs> Anyways. Coming up the back here. His dino head, his uh his wings. I'm gonna call them wings, okay? I don't know what else to call them. I'm gonna call them wings, alright? They look like wings. They're wings. Anyways, also, this right here, this is way too dark if you ask me. <laughs> This is like this shouldn't be that dark, okay? I I don't I can't remember from the cartoon off the top of my head. I can't remember if it was that dark, but no, it's not supposed to be that dark. As as a matter of fact, here where's the box here? Here, even in the box, that's like completely clear. Okay, this is like completely the opposite of this. <laughs> It's the complete opposite, and I don't know what they did, but it's, uh, they just like, you know what, make it black. That's that's basically what they just said here. Just, you know what, tint it. That's it. But whatever, I guess. It, it doesn't bother me, but uh, if it does bother you, which, uh, what, what you can do to fix it is you can take apart the chest here. You can come to the back, and you have two screws right here, and if you unscrew those screws then this will just slide off but uh, if you do slide it off you are going to have two holes right here on the side of his chest so it's it's just like a it's a it's either you want this but you're gonna get this pretty much so if you don't want this you can take it off but you're gonna get two screw holes personally this doesn't bother me so it's all good it's all good in my opinion uh, for articulation his head here get the box out the way because in the way of the light uh, for the for the head here, uh, he does have a 360 uh, ball joint rotation. He can look down all the way, but because of his this little panel he sits on, it just kind of goes in, and he looks down quite a bit. So, and because of that same panel, he can look up a lot. <laughs> he can he can look up a lot. So, because of that same panel, he can look up a lot. <laughs> Uh, uh, his little wings back here, they are on a hinge so they can move in and out and they can also go up and down. So, get those out of the way. The arms go out 90 degrees. You have a about more than 90 degree bend at the elbow. And you do get a 360 wrist rotation. And you can also move the dino toes if you need to. Yeah, just if you need to. And give him some, you know, like a brass knuckle or something. I don't know. Use your imagination. It is your toy, so do whatever you want with it. <laughs> uh, you do get a 360 waist rotation. Pain in the butt to get them lined up, though. Okay. Uh, you can also 
for the legs. They can go out about 360 or three uh one 90 degree angle they can go at 90 degree angle <laughs> uh, they can also bend backwards about 90 degree actually it's on a double thing so if you wanted to you can get this out the way get this out the way you can do that gotta have his dino head out though but you know it's whatever you can do that you can do it if you so wish to Anyways, uh, you get no, uh, uh, you do get 360 uh, thigh rotation. I think that's the thigh, thigh rotation. And you get ankle a big ankle tilt hitch. You can break his ankles, in other words. They made this entire section for his ankles. <laughs> All right, uh, for, yeah, for his ankles, yeah. For his ankle uh, rotation. Because this, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, this is not used for transformation. This is specific for <laughs> for his ankle tiltage but hey glad they gave it to him because you can get him into some good poses here let's fix his head here so that panel's going all the way down and you can also give him his blaster his double barrel blaster and uh, he does hold it quite well on a short little peg that fits right in there and uh it's not gonna fall out or anything it's not gonna fall out so that's good and uh i don't really like this big gap right here i think it's a little bit too big doesn't bother me but it's a little bit too big in my opinion so you have them blast your faces off anyways i think that's about it so focus here and there you go and there you have studio series 8606 grimlock and autobots wheelie now if you did enjoy this review please leave a like and subscribe to my channel <laughs> i forgot to say that for a second anyways if you do like this figure you can check him out in the g1 playlist because he's a g1 figure eh, yeah no he's, he's going in the g1 playlist <laughs> I was going to say, maybe I can slip him into the Beast Wars. But no, he's not Beast Wars. He's G1. There you go. And if you do like the figure, you can check your local Walmart. He is at Walmart. And he is also at Target, so check your local Target. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. So if you do like this, please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to see me play games, click the link in the description below. And you can see my Twitch channel. You can watch me play games with my friends. And you can also check out my Instagram, which will you see posts about the toys before you see them here on YouTube. I'm still getting used to this outro thing, man. I just, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But, yeah. Go check them out on my Instagram. Again, in the link in the description below. I post all the figures there. I even have some figures there that I haven't posted just yet. But they're there. So go ahead. Click the link in the description. And it'll take you there. So that's all I have to say. Hope you all have a nice day, and I'll talk to y'all in the next video.